Zoe Ball announced her departure from BBC Radio 2 in a heartbreaking statement live on air. Zoe Ball announced she is stepping down from her self-titled breakfast show after six years in a sad farewell. The BBC Radio 2 host said she would remain with the station and that news about her future projects would be announced in due course. The 53-year-old confirmed the reason behind her exit was that she finally had enough of the 4 a.m. alarm calls and is hoping to lead a slower and more relaxed pace of life and to spend more time with her family. It comes after the broadcaster returned to her show after a lengthy absence, sparking concern among radio listeners. Express Online takes an inside look into Zoe's time on the radio show from health woes, replacement and a heartbreaking loss. Diagnosed with Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, ADHD, last year, Zoe opened up about how the neurodevelopmental condition impacts concentration and behavior, leading to potential hyperactivity, restlessness, and sleep issues. She told the public about her condition towards the end of the year revealing that her son Woody, whom she shares with her former husband Norman Cook, also has a DHD. I am a DHD. My son and I are both, were quite similar. I make myself laugh sometimes, because if I am in a small space and I've got loads of tasks to do, I can cover so many miles, adding that her brain was all over the shop. She told the mirror. My family, they laugh because they'll find things of mine in certain places, and they're like, if you follow this, you'll see what mum was trying to achieve. I have 18 pairs of glasses, and I will still lose all of them. My brain is just all over the goddamn shop. Zoe chuckled. Earlier this year, Zoe suffered a meltdown while filming Taskmaster's New Year treat after she and fellow celeb guests Deborah Meaden, Kojay Radical, Lenny Rush, and Steve Baxhall were given a task that involved timing, something that is not Zoe's strong suit.